We can be walking down the hallway. He can be coming this way and not come that way. And I pull the star and see you starting quarterback. You look down at your phone. So guess what I do? I put my head down and we walk right past each other and won't say nothing. You had a long career in the NFL. Uh-huh. And a lot of people know you for taking it back to the crib. Special teams, dude, there are very few, if any, that were better than you. The only person I can think of is really Dante Hall, that'd be in that same category. And if you take that as an insult, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> How do you take that? Insult. You think there's anybody better than you as a returner? Not what I did. I do think there's some good guys out there. Mm -hmm. Some great returners out there. But I don't think anybody that had done it the way I did. People believe return specialists like Brian Mitchell and yourself belong in the Hall of Fame. Right, do you right, think right. Brian Mitchell and Devin Hester should have right. a space in Kent? I think so, but I think they all wait on me first to make it. Once I'm in, I think some of the other returns get in, but to be fair to myself, I do feel like I should be the first one in. The other question I always had about your career was why you weren't used more as a wide receiver. Especially yeah. in Chicago, it seemed like those first couple of years, they were kind of easy to you in a similar way that, you know, guys like Cordell Patterson right now, right, right, you know, right. are being used. Right. What happened there? Why didn't you get more opportunities as a wide receiver? What did you feel the real reason behind that was? So my third year is when I redid a new contract and became the number one receiver. That's the same year we brought in Jay Cutler. He's not really a, a sociable guy. He, he's not a talker, you know what I mean? He picks one or two guys and he just leashes on them and separates himself from everybody. As a quarterback, like I tell him to this face today that to me, my years in the NFL, I played 11 years. He's the best quarterback when it comes to accuracy, power, knowledge of the game. The best quarterback hand down I ever played with. Now when it comes to a leadership, the worst. The worst? The worst. He don't know how to communicate. He don't know how to get his teammates involved. For me to be like, at that time, one of the number one and number two receivers, like, you supposed to have my back regardless. So clearly y'all didn't have the best relationship. Nah. I feel like personally, the only person I feel has been cool with Jay Cutler is, is Brandon Marshall. <laughs> Correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. It just, it feel like every other person has some sort of story or some sort of disagreement or at odds with Jay Cutler. That's true that you mentioned that. So B. Marshall voices pain a lot. Mm -hmm. Him and Jay Cutler came in together. And them, they were like brothers. Like they argued. B. Marshall was cussing my left no way feel. I'm on the sideline. We're in practice, right? They doing pregame, warming up, tossing and throwing the ball. Jay Cutler and B. Marshall get into it. <laughs> B. Marshall yell like, out, "I made you." You know what I mean? You want for me? You you want me, Jay Cutler? All these Pro Bowl stuff. You got you got this because of me. I'm looking at Julius Pepper. He looking at me. I say, "Listen here." We finna make a bet. I say, <laughs> I bet you Jay Cutler throw B. Marshall the ball. If he throwing the ball, you give me $50. If he don't throw the B. Marshall, I'm gonna give you $100. That's how right. comfortable you were? That's how comfortable I was. I said, I know how that practice finna go. He mad at Jay, not Jay Cutler finna give him the ball the whole practice. What you walk away from? We stopped bet. The bet <laughs> stopped. He, we stopped the bet at 21 passes. He threw it- 21 to Marshall? He threw it 21 passes to B. Marshall. 21 straight. I looked at the coach like, are you really fucking kidding me? And wouldn't nobody say nothing. That would really piss me off. 21 times straight, bro. That's like a rack you got from that. We stopped back. He said, bro, I don't even want to bet no more, bro. <laughs> he gonna have to give you your game check at some point. 21 times straight, bro. What was Julius Pepper saying? After 21 times, you looking straight laughing. at Julius. He was just laughing. He was like, I can't believe this, bro. <laughs> like, I, I can't believe this, bro. Like, this is really what y'all all got going on, bro. Like, bro, listen. They argue like cats and dogs. That's why B. Marshall give Jay Cutler all the praise, man. Go ahead and get the shot in real quick. Okay. Yo, I'm Justin Tuck. Do me a favor, subscribe to Bleacher Report and check out Untold Stories.